Video 50. Well, here's the stick shift that's going to go into uh, the car this winter. Um, it's just sitting there on the console for the moment, but uh, I've decided to put a transmission into the car after all. It does make sense to get that low gear in there to help uh, ease the load on the motor and uh, give it a little bit better performance on takeoff. So that's going to be going in, and uh, here's the transmission out front sitting up on a stand. It's a uh, converted uh, for electric car use, of course. For, it's a, out of a 68 Chevy, and you can see the power glide there, uh, with a fluid pump on the side to keep, uh, keep the transmission pressurized. You can see the, uh, the drive, the shaft coupler there to go to hook up to the motor. I'm still waiting on the adapter plate, so it should be here shortly. And uh, the output uh, drive shaft on the, on the tail end. So it'll be a little bit of a challenge to get the uh, get that all squeezed, shoehorned in, I guess. And uh, but that'll be the winter project. I've also decided to drain the batteries off a little bit to let them down to uh, rest at a lower state of charge, for which is a little bit better for them, I think. So I've hooked up a um, small little thermostat here and a, a piece of electric baseboard that's running about a kilowatt or so. So it's nice adding a nice little bit of uh, warmth to the room here, and uh, it's getting kind of cool. And you can see where that's uh, drawing about four amps and uh, at about 237 pack volts right now. So the voltage is coming down. It started out at about 240 or so. So it's been slowly draining for a, a while. And uh, so that'll let those batteries rest for the winter well. So that's about it for the car for the moment. I um, had a good summer with it. Had a lot of fun driving it. And uh, it was it's running pretty fast already, but I think that transmission's gonna uh, give it a little bit more zip there. And uh, so looking forward to see what the spring brings.